are you doing here? I live here. Well, that doesn't give you any right to crash Henry's wedding. Hey, the more the merrier. Well, I'm not crashing. The bride invited me. Oh, really? Does she yeah. know that you got her fiancé wasted last night and hired a stripper for him? She knows. Some of that. She's a very forgiving woman. All the women you know are. They have to be. Yeah. Get me there. Hey, did you hear that? Your witness. Kitty said I was right. Ah. Yes, we mm. were agreeing that he's impossible. <sighs> so how are you feeling, Henry? <sighs> you some breakfast? He's not really in the mood for food. Good morning, my darling. I'm so happy to see you. I can't wait to be your wife. Answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. It is my understanding that the bride and groom have written their own vows. Yes, we have. Katie helped me with them. Do you have the vows? A copy of it? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Um, uh, did you leave them to Lakeview? I could go back and see if they're there. That's so sweet. No, no, that's, that's we don't, we don't have to. We don't have to do this right now. Um, it will give you a chance to find them. I can speak from my heart. Um. Oh. Thank you, Katie. Henry, I know that I wasn't what you expected and that this is very sudden. But all my life I've just been this pretty girl with beautiful clothes and lots of money that rich men like to drag to parties. And it was fun for a while. But it wasn't until I met you that I realized how lonely I was. And we spent time together, and we talked, and we did silly things, and it was so much fun. And you were such a good listener. And I fell madly in love with you. And you've given me this beautiful family, friends, these lovely people. And you make me so incredibly happy. And I want to spend the rest of my life, every single moment, with you. I love you so much. Well, that was very, very special, Miss Hyatt, I must say. Henry, now you. Henry? Son, do you have something to say? I... Uh, I... I can't. I, did you lose your vows too? No, no, I just... Uh, I can't. Oh, this is all my fault. I shouldn't have insisted that we write our own vows. Can you just proceed as usual and, and just have Henry say I do in all the right places? Of course. No, no, no. It's just... I, I, I don't mean... I just... It, it's not necessary. No, you, no, you're right. You're right. Just, just put the ring on my finger and kiss me, and that's all I need. Oh, Vienna, I'm so sorry. Oh, did you leave the ring in your other coat? No, no, I have the ring. Well, then put it on my finger. You were so beautiful, you know that, and you were so giving, and you were so generous, and you were so kind, and I hate myself for having to do this. But I can't marry you. No, 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 I don't understand. Pardon, what? 
don't you take care of yourself. It's just getting good. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, maybe you just need me a glass of water. You had a really rough night last night. Need some aspirin? No, no, no.